Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create new collections in Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager 2012. I'm going to start by showing you how to create a new device collection. Click Device Collections and you see get an overview of all the collections that are already there. As we want to create a new device collection, we're going to click in the upper left on the button create device collection give our collection a new name by which we can easily find it later on we have to choose the limiting collection in this case it's going to be all systems click next I'm not going to configure a membership rule, so I'm getting a warning now when clicking on next, but that's fine. We can easily add new members later on. Next, and the collection has been com successfully created. With System Center 2012, Microsoft gives us the ability to also target user collections. And in this case, I'm going to show you how to create a new user collection. Click on user collections. Again, an overview of all the collections we have. Create user collection and give this one also a name. Choose the limiting collection. I'll choose all users. Click next and this collection name is already in use that's because we already got that name under device collections and collection names have to be unique so bear that in mind for future change the name click next no membership rule that's okay next and successfully created so this is how you create new collections in the console but you, you can also do that via script for example if you have to create a hundred new collections or even more i have wrote a script called create collection a powershell script which asks me if i want to create a user or device collection in this step i'm going to choose device give it a name remember this name has to be unique so it's new collection underscore two and because the script can be executed remotely need to tell him which server it has to be executed on refresh the device collections and we instantly see the new collection. Of course, the same can be done with user collections. Again, into our script. Choose user. Give it the name, the server, and shoot. Of course, this script can also run in a loop to create more than one collection at a time which it's doing now this script and even more can be found on my on my blog hope you liked the video and test it in your environment